All week long, UMass head coach Kevin Morris told me his team would not be intimidated at Michigan Stadium. Even though it holds over 110,000 people, the field is still 100 yards, like everywhere else. That's the mentality the Minutemen had in today's matchup against the Wolverines. UMass looking to repeat the performance of Appalachian State a few years ago, and it got off to a good start early. UMass with a third and eight in Michigan territory. Kyle Havens finding Anthony Nelson with the nice grab. He hangs on. That leads to a field goal. First Michigan possession quickly turns into a Minutemen possession. Denard Robinson's pass is tipped. Kumar Davis in the right place at the right time. He puts the ball back into UMass's hands. Nothing comes of that drive though and Michigan takes advantage. Robinson looking deep on third and eight and he hooks up with Kelvin Brady for 43 yards. That sets up Michael Shaw from just a yard out. The Wolverines take the 7-3 lead in the first quarter. No worries though, UMass fans. UMass driving in the second quarter. First and goal from the 10. Jonathan Hernandez, maybe his best game ever to the outside and he's in. UMass back on top, 10-7. The Minutemen D coming up big all game long. Third and 10 on the UMass 40. Mike Mealy takes down Denard Robinson for the sack, ending that drive. Next Michigan possession, UMass holding it to a field goal, except the ball goes wide left. UMass still holding a 10-7 edge late in the second. Hernandez, 26 carries on the day for 118 yards and two touchdowns. Here's the second one as UMass stunning Michigan with a 17-7 lead just minutes before the half. But the Wolverines with a very explosive offense. First play of the drive, Robinson the short pass to Darrell Stoneham. Look out, he jets through the maroon jersey 66 yards later. He finds the end zone, Michigan down by three. So UMass with a minute left in the half, just trying to run the clock out. John Griffin, though, stripped of the ball right here, and Michigan falls on it. Uh-oh, five plays later, it's Robinson to Stoneham again. Only nine yards this time, but the Wolverines reclaim the lead 21-17. Second half starting ugly for the Minutemen. Michigan's first possession results in a score. Michael Shaw right up the middle for a 34-yard touchdown, 28-17 Michigan. Next drive, Denard Robinson. He keeps it himself. The eight-yard run results in six points. It's 35-17 Michigan, but UMass doesn't lay down. In fact, it punches right back. Kyle Havens tucks it away and keeps it for the score, bringing the, bringing the Minutemen back within 11. Wolverines put a lo little more distance in between themselves and UMass. It's Shaw, 126 yards, three touchdowns, 42-24 Michigan, but the Minutemen try in a rally. Havens throws it to the other team. One problem, though, the Wolverines can't hang on to it. UMass recovers the fumble right here and retains possession of the ball. And that worked out well because Havens redeems himself. The five-yard strike to Julian Talley. UMass down 42-30 to 30 at this point. So about five minutes left in the game here. A big third and one for Michigan, but Tyler Holmes makes the defensive play that changes the game. A big stop forcing a punt. UMass with the rock again under three to play. Havens a beauty to Andrew Previs who hangs on. UMass down by just five, under two minutes left. And that means they need to recover this onside kick to have a chance, but the kick goes out of bounds. Michigan runs out the clock and hangs on for the 42 to 37 win. UMass not happy with the outcome. I thought the kids really, uh, you know, stepped up and played UMass tough and, and fought through for four quarters, which was nice. I mean, that's enough that I wouldn't expect, but uh, you know, the game at one point looked like it might get out of hand, and instead it didn't. Our guys fought right through and gave us a chance to win at the end, so certainly happy with the effort. We're not happy. You know, we lost. We want to win games, so um, when we lose, we're not happy. Um, we played a tight game, and uh, no, no one's mad at each other. Everyone's still together out there in that, lock, or in that locker room, so uh, we're just going to try and take away the positives. I'm never happy. Happy with a loss, you know. Always want to win. Very competitive person, but um, to lose, I think by five to Michigan, you know, I, I think we'll accept it, you know, but also get better, you know, tomorrow in practice and get ready for next week. UMass travels to Stony Brook next Saturday for a six o'clock game. Matt, back to you.